Our lesson today, we will observe whether this oil is miscible with water. Miscible, meaning will oil mix with water uniformly? That is the meaning of miscible. And let us find out. So we will mix oil and water. There you go. Let us steer. Okay. So what do you think? So as you notice, the oil remains on top of water right so there are now two layers oil layer and water layer and what did you learn from your science in the past you learned that if a liquid stays on top that means it is less denser than the liquid below right therefore water is less dense than I mean, oil is less dense than water and they don't mix uniformly, right? Therefore, we say oil is not miscible. It is immiscible with water. Okay, so let us see. We have a water here also. What if we will mix it with alcohol, isopropyl alcohol? Okay, and let us stir it. Okay, and compare it with this mixture of liquids. As you can see, there is no layer. That means alcohol is miscible with water. So oil is immiscible and alcohol is miscible. So what do you think is the reason behind? Okay, remember, it has something to do with chemistry, with the molecular structure of water, of oil, and alcohol. Let me show that to you. Remember in our past lesson that water is a polar molecule, right? It's polar because oxygen is very electronegative. It attracts electron from hydrogen, right? Thereby giving this positively charged and this one partial negative charge. Again, this one, this leaving this hydrogen positively charged and this one is negatively charged. So this is a polar molecule wherein there is an unequal sharing of electrons and it has positive and negative end, polar. What about oil? So before we discuss oil, and if we have several water molecules, like in that part case, like we have in this container, they are together among themselves, they are attracted because of the positive end and the negative end. The positive end of the hydrogen, and the negative end of the oxygen, there is attraction, there is attraction among the water molecules, right? And what happened, if we added oil just like in here, there is no attraction between the oil molecule and the water molecule because there are no positive nor negative end on the oil molecule. So what happens? It just stays on top of water, right? It just stays on top of water because aside from no attraction, it is less denser than water, okay? And what about this alcohol? Why is it miscible with water? Okay, let us examine the formula of alcohol, okay? 
The formula class of alcohol is this, isopropyl alcohol. It is composed of carbon and hydrogen with oxygen. So this is hydrogen, okay, another carbon here, then another carbon. And this one is also with another hydrogen. And this one is with oxygen and a hydrogen here. As you can see from what we have learned, from what we have learned that this oxygen is again more electronegative than hydrogen and than in carbon, right? Therefore, this is again what? Partially negative charge and we have positive charge, right? We have positive charge. So this end of the isopropyl alcohol is the polar end and this one is the non-polar end. So when we mix that with water, then there is now an attraction between the polar end of the polar molecule of water because that is why they mix uniformly so as you can see it has something to do with the bond the molecular structure of the two substances okay so what happened if we will add a detergent to this when we will add detergent to this for example this detergent what happened with this oil and water immiscible mixture and by the way before we proceed to that let us examine that this is the molecule of detergent the detergent molecule shows a long carbon hydrogen chain and we learned that it is a nonpolar chain right nonpolar and on the on, on the end there is the polar end. We have the negative charge there, right? So what happened when we put that in water and on oil, what happened? This negative end will be attracted to this uh, molecule positive end of water, right? So let us illustrate it. Let us mix uh the detergent with this mixture and see what will happen okay what will happen and let us stir it okay. Okay. So, do you still see the layer so you don't see any more the layer right the layer disappeared why why did it disappear simply because okay why did it disappear simply because of this okay look the detergent nonpolar end mixes uniformly with the nonpolar end of the oil molecule and this polar end of the detergent molecule attra it attracts the water polar molecule. So they mix this uniformly. So the three substances uh, intermolecularly combine. And then we have now a, na a, a mixture wherein composed of water and oil the layer was destroyed because of adding the detergent. Now, this demonstration is very useful for my students in grade 10 to support their learning in our classroom lesson. Why, Why is it that water cannot simply remove the oil or the grease from any surface that will support the observation again oil is nonpolar 
water is polar and the detergent molecule is effective in removing the oil or the grease from our clothes or from any surface because it attracts, it has an attraction to the oil molecule, this non-polar end, and the non-polar end of the oil molecule, and attraction with water molecule. This is the polar end of the detergent molecule, and attraction with the polar molecule.